Lesson 2.11 Word Problem Solving Compare Numbers We can make a model to solve a problem about comparing numbers. We can use blocks or quick pictures to show the values of the digits in the numbers and then compare them. When we compare numbers, we find which number is greater. We have 217, 317. 317 is greater because it has one more hundred than 217. We compare the greatest place value first. Here we have 165, 145. And the hundreds are the same, so we compare the tens. 165 is the greater number because it has two more tens than 145. Sarah has 203 blue beads and 195 red beads to make bracelets. Does Sarah have more blue beads or more red beads? So we think, we need to find if she has more blue beads or more red beads. We circle the important information. It's important that she has 203 blue beads, and it's important she has 195 red beads. We can model the problem with blocks or quick pictures. We can use two flats of 100 and three ones for 203 blue beads. We can use one flat of 100, nine longs of 10, and five ones for 195 red beads. And we can see there are two hundreds here and only one hundred here. And two hundreds are more than one hundred, so Sarah has more blue beads. We can draw a quick picture to compare 203 and 195. We draw two squares for the two hundreds, three little dots for the three ones. For 195, we make 100 for one square. We draw nine lines for the nine tens and five dots for the five ones. We can see there's more hundreds in 203, so that's the greater number. We can shade in the units of a model to compare them. We take some blank models and we shade in two flats of 100 and three ones. For 203, for 195, we shade in one whole flat for the 100. We shade in nine columns for the nine tens and five ones. We shade in here. And we can see we've shaded in more for 203 than we did for 195. So 203 is greater. We begin comparing numbers with the greatest place value on the left. If their greatest place values are the same, we compare the next place value. And if those place values are the same, we compare the next place value. We have 426 and 423. Their hundreds and tens are the same, so we compare ones. Six ones is greater than three ones, so 426 is greater than 423. Mr. Lee sold 162 oranges and 171 apples. Did he sell more oranges or apples? We think. We need to find if he sold more oranges or apples. We can circle the important information. It's important that there were 162 oranges and 171 apples. We can draw a quick picture. We can even compare place values, starting with the greatest place value. 162, we make a square for 100. We make six lines for six tens and two dots for two ones. For 171 apples, we make one square for 100, seven lines for seven tens, and one dot for the one. We can compare them. They both have 100, so we compare the tens. Seven is greater than six. Seven tens is greater than six tens. 
So we can see that Mr. Lee sold more apples. We had the same hundreds, so we compared the tens. Bob collected 346 baseball cards. Dave collected 259 baseball cards. Lou collected 10 more than Bob, who collected the most baseball cards. So we think we need to find who has the most cards, and we can circle the important information first. Bob has 346, Dave has 259, and Lou has 10 more than Bob. Well, Bob has more hundreds than Dave. This is 300, that's 200. So it's not Dave. Bob already has more than him, and Lou has more than Bob, so we know it's not Dave. Lou has 10 more than Bob, so Lou must have the most. Bob has 346, Dave has 259, Lou has 10 more than 346, because that's how many Bob has. That means Lou must have 356, so Lou has the most baseball cards. We can solve this quickly by seeing that Dave is not the most, because he doesn't have as many hundreds, and this sentence says that Lou collected 10 more than Bob. So we know it's more than this number. It has to be Lou. So actually, this could be very easy to solve if we understand 10 more. Here we have three digits in a little cloud. It's telling us to use the digits to write numbers that are greater than 131. We need to rearrange these to come up with numbers that are greater than 131. Can you think of some numbers? One hundred thirty-two is greater than one hundred thirty-one. It has one more one. Can you think of another one? If we put a two in the hundreds place, that will be greater than one hundred thirty-one. Two hundred thirteen is greater than one hundred thirty-one. Can you think of another one? Can you think of another one that starts with a two for the two hundred? We could change places with the tens and the ones place and make 231. We're using the three digits and that is greater than 131. We can put the three in the hundreds place. Can you think of a number that would have a three in the hundreds place that would be greater than 131? We can use these digits and write 312. There's one more that is going to be greater than 131. Can you think of what it is? Just like here, where we changed the tens and ones to create some numbers, we could trade the tens and ones and make 321. That's greater than 131. In our next lesson, 2.12, we're gonna compare three digit numbers starting with the greatest place values. So stick with me. This will be the last lesson for chapter two and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.